Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and this is the perfect place to get started with Tin Whistle. If you're brand new to Tin Whistle, then this is the perfect place to start. So, to begin with, you'll need a Tin Whistle in D. Tin Whistles come in keys, which means uh, usually somewhere printed on the whistle it will say a letter, for example D, or I have another whistle here that's in C. But I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to get started with a D tin whistle, which is hopefully what most of you will have. So you're going to start with your left hand, and you're going to place your thumb on the back of the tin whistle, almost in between the first and second hole. You're going to place your index finger of your left hand over the top hole, your middle finger of the left hand over the second hole, and your ring finger of the left hand over the third hole. So you're going to have a grab like this. Now it's not the uh, finger tips, it's the finger pads, this nice fleshy fat part of your finger here. So make sure when you cover the holes, one, two and three, you're using the finger pads with nice flat fingers and not the fingertips. Next we're going to take our right hand and we're going to place our thumb in between the fourth and fifth holes on the back. We're going to take our index finger on the right hand and cover the fourth hole, our middle finger on the right hand and cover the fifth hole, and our ring finger on the right hand and cover the bottom hole, the sixth hole. So you should have, if you guys can see, a grab like this. That is how you hold a tin whistle. Don't forget to use the fleshy pads of your fingers and not your fingertips. So you'll see that most tin whistles have a plastic top. Some tin whistles also have a wooden block, but the same sort of thing applies. So if you have a plastic topped whistle, you're going to be placing the back of it on the center of your bottom lip. Grab your whistle, and you're just going to rest it gently on your bottom lip. Not too far into the mouth, like this, <laughs> and not too far out. Just gently on the center of the bottom lip. You're then going to bring your top lip down and gently blow. Now you might get a different note to me and it's likely because you're blowing a little bit hard. So just blow as gently as possible. With your fingers you don't want to be squeezing down really hard either. It's quite a relaxed and soft grip. So just make sure that your fingers are naturally covering the holes. If you grab too hard, it will strain your hands and you won't be able to play for very long. So just nice and light, nice and soft covering the holes and a very, very gentle blow. So what I want you guys to do is practice getting that bottom note. And this note on a D whistle with all those six fingers covered is actually a D. So just blow very gently and try and get a nice, solid, sturdy note. Now there are two ways you can blow through a tin whistle. You can simply blow with a nice steady airflow like we just have. And to basically cut between notes, you can simply stop blowing. So all I've done there is blow three times with a little pause in between. Another technique is to use the tip of your tongue, and you can put the tip of your tongue to the top of your mouth and basically cut off the airflow coming out. So it's actually like saying two, 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 into the whistle, tooting. So just practice trying the toot technique and the steady blow. Okay, next up, I'm going to show you the next note on Tin Whistle, and that is an E. To get an E, we remove the bottom finger on the right hand, and we blow, gently. So practice getting a nice, solid E. Next, we've got F sharp. So if you remove the middle finger on your right hand, this is F sharp on a D whistle. This is F sharp. Beep. 
Shall we keep going? <laughs> if you remove the top finger on your right hand, you can keep your thumb in place, by the way. The more fingers you move, uh, the harder it is to hold the whistle. So try and keep a few things in place. Now these three fingers down, which is the top three holes on the left hand, this note is G. Next up, we have A. B, just one finger. And also, you can play C sharp. Now, C sharp requires taking all your fingers off the whistle. So you may need to add a pinky on the bottom, not covering any holes, just on the gap at the bottom, to hold onto your whistle. So remember, you can keep your thumbs on, and you can put your pinky on if you want to. So right the way from the bottom, we've got D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and C sharp. On a D tin whistle, you can also play a regular C, a C natural, and this is played by putting all three fingers down on the left hand at the top, and then removing the top finger, so you've got an open hole and two covered. Now once you've removed all your fingers from the whistle, you've played the bottom or lower octave. Now, tin whistles also have a second octave, or an upper octave, which means you can play those same notes again, but higher. And to do that, you need to blow harder, which is why I was trying to get you to blow really, really gently at the start. So, if you put all your fingers back on, thumbs back at the back, and you remove your top finger, and you blow harder, this is D, but in the higher octave. You can also play E by putting all your fingers down and removing the bottom finger, blowing harder. F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. I'll be honest, I don't use that very often, and you guys probably won't either. So that is your basic tin whistle lesson. You start with all your fingers down for D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and then all back down in the top one off for the next D, E, F sharp, G, A, and B. And we'll leave it at B. <laughs> And that was the very basic lesson on how to hold and how to blow your tin whistle. Best of luck, happy whistling. Don't forget to check out my other videos on YouTube such as tutorials. And I hope you guys have a wonderful journey with tin whistle. It is so much fun to play. And uh, yeah, happy whistling. I'll see you next time.